Hey, this is Sunny Cheese, and this is Death Perk. I'm Code. And we're Cat, and we have another game for you between Ace and Cheerio and M. Tarson. And on the top right hand corner, we have M. Tarson as the Red Terran. And Ace and Cheerio, the Blue Zerg, spawning down in the left hand corner. Or yes. the bottom left corner. And I'm running my computer on Extreme Graphics, if you haven't noticed already. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna kind of test this out and see if it works. Yes, and a, a little news update for you guys: we might be doing um, a bronze, silver, gold tournament sometime soon, like next month maybe. Yeah, if we get enough supporters to it, or I don't know, people to sign up for it, then we will. But if we don't, then we obviously can't have a tournament if we don't have enough people. Yeah, um, and we still need to come up with a prize, so that's something. yeah. But um, that will be in a few weeks or a month or whatever that is, and we'll probably get some more updates on that later on. But let's get back to the game. Yes, we see a barracks being placed at a very strange spot. By yeah, Tarsen. Maybe to make the Zerg expect some possible cheese or something along yeah. those lines. Maybe to stop him from fast expanding early on. No, because he's still going to drop the high tree right here. Yeah, he, do he does drop it. But, I mean, like, make him aware that maybe there's some cheese coming at him. Maybe he should build a spawning pool earlier. But if he doesn't scout it, then how would he know? Hmm. This... Oh, there is a drone coming in, so... Yeah, so he'll run up this ramp and not see a barracks, so he'll start to get pretty suspicious. Yes, he is... Not suspicious yet. Well, he doesn't see any refineries from uh, Zerg's point of vision, so Zerg would probably expect a one base FE. I mean, one racks FE. Yeah, and then the drone just scattered out the barracks. Yes. And the spawning pool is about halfway done. Um... Well, I don't think much is really happening at this point. Yes. Uh, SCV going down. Check out that hatchery that's going to finish. Maybe, uh, well, the Marine is not going down. I thought it was. There's actually an expansion for the Terran. So, spawning pool finishes. Zerg is getting gas. So, this might be an early Roach play since he's not getting a. Um, I'm going to actually guess more Lings than Roaches. You know, looking at the spawning pool on extreme graphics, it makes you. It looks like gel. Jello. It kind of does. <laughs> oh, it looks like uh, four Zerglings going down on those Zelnaga temples. Check it out. Yep. Just make sure there's no kind of push incoming. Looks like Terran's gonna go for a 1 1 1 after this command center finishes. And yeah, spine crawler for defense. He pulled all his or those drones off gas just to get the ling speed. You know, uh, one v one, lings versus marines. Lings actually win. I mean, if you um, don't, if you don't micro marines. Actually, if you have a uh, full two hundred marines versus the four hundred lings, the marines win. Oh, I meant one v one, like one marine versus one ling. Oh. Mm. Only if they have speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only if they have speed. Ooh, looks like Terran's going for another... another command center. And Zerg also going for another. We also have a reactor on this barracks. I'm gonna guess it's probably for some Hellion play. Oh yeah, the double he double Hellion fast expand, except he's already expanded, so it's double Hellion play. Yep, there it is, the switch. And he's actually taking out that supply depot that's right there. Ooh, Ling's run into the base. Ling's in the base, and how many workers will they kill? Uh, one. There goes... One. One. Only one. Two. Two. 
Three. 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 Three? Yeah. Go to the workers lost tab. Huh. Workers units lost. Yeah, workers killed. Three. Killed three. But you could have killed a marine earlier. Actually, no, yeah, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> oh, looks like marauders are being built. And roaches on the other side. Elian, scout, scout that fast third. Looks like yeah, he's gonna, gonna take a while roaches, for a lot of roaches. Elian's to take down a hatchery. I'd love <laughs> to see a Hellion burn down the, the hatchery, like all the way. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> There's that one campaign mission. It's the one where you gotta go like destroy all the uh, infested buildings and stuff, and that's the one you get Hellions. Yeah. How I played that is I just massed Hellions. Oh, I actually massed uh, Reapers. Reapers work really well. Hmm. <laughs> it was funny. Every, <laughs> everything just burned down. Looks like he has no AA right now, and if the Zerg keeps teching like this, looks like trouble when Mutas pop out. I like these Overlord placements right near the Terran base. Yeah, Just out like of range. It. I mean, the uh, Terran doesn't really see it. Unless now he should. His, yeah, unless he has AA, but he says that he shouldn't be able to see it. And here comes some Marines to take down this Overlord. I think the Terran is a little bit over committing on the Hellions, especially when he spotted roaches. Yeah, but now he's got these marauders. Yeah, but no AA. That's what that's what's gonna really pound him at the twelve minute mark. Yeah, especially since there's a spire coming down right now. Roach. Actually the spire's halfway done. Overlords gathered at the gathering. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a third for the Terran. Or Tarson. Oh, it's gonna get. And Ling's attacking. Third. Ling's are peeling it down. Um, looks like that lone marine in the corner. Uh, you also have a push. Yes, a push coming in third. for the Terran player. Spine crawlers are not going to do much. Not ready. Roaches. Are marauders the counter to roaches? I'm just curious. Yes, they are. And are roaches the counter to stalkers? Um, I don't think so. Ooh, it looks like the Zerg is going to lose this engagement and the hatchery. Ooh, that queen looks really nice burned down. <laughs> Burnt queen. Ooh, Yummy. Mutas. The Mutas are now finishing. Looks like Terran player has to... Ooh, Ling's walk right into the base. off SCVs and how many does he kill? I have no idea. Units. Hold on. He gets two more. Two more? Two more. Zerg now back on two bases but going to be on three again. Terran player has little to no AA. Looks like he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, the orbital command for his third I would have definitely went with the Planetary Fortress for that this third. That looks pretty sick there. Marines getting shredded by uh, by the the Glumworm, and Muta is just falling apart in midair. <laughs> Going for these... Ooh, well, now I'm turning around and getting the SCV kill on the... for the building of the turrets. Yes, and I think the Terran player is losing a lot of workers and army that he should that sh he should have. I think he just... Oh, Ling's run into the base again. There it goes. And no they're gonna be met by marauders and tanks. Yeah. Vikings are not the counter to Mutas, by the way. Just no, saying. they're most definitely not. They, they are, like, the prettiest unit against... Ben, not, against A. Um, AA. Except other creatures. 
set barracudas. You know what? Uh, what the Muta should be doing is taking out the barracks attachments. Um, he took one of them down. He took a um reactor down. Yeah, but he was firing at that starport for most of his time. Wow. That entire muta harass where he kept killing the SCV building the missile turret. Yeah. He got 16 SCV kills. Wow. Oh, but the Terran player still has no AA at front. Absolutely none. Except for these Vikings now coming down. And five Marines, which won't do much. Yeah, that's a lot of mutas. Mutas should just be harassing this front part of his base right now. Actually, no, he has marines in the bunker, so... All the barracks are now building marines. Yep, and looks like Zerg is transitioning into Muta Bane Lane. Yep. Which is a unit composition that we'll talk about in the strategy video later. Bling Bling Muta. Such a pain to deal with. Yeah, if you can pull it off in a good way. It's very devastating. Terran should it, be going for... Yeah, the... Okay. Sorry for that little tiny chunk. Little interruption we didn't Looks want like in the video. Looks like he is massing mutas again. And this is... A lot. That's... 8, 16, 17 mutas. Taking out turrets, mules, and SCVs. Any mule that you can take down is very nice. <laughs> you know, um, I was watching some streams the other day, and there's this guy that was trolling, and he's like, When my SCV dies, I drop a mule. When my tank dies, I drop a mule. When I scan, I drop a mule. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of energy. <laughs> How many orbital commands do you have? <laughs> oh, and on the forums, another guy was posting something about um, late game. You know how Terran has trouble with uh, Protoss late game? Uh, Yeah, kind of. Okay, so this guy was like, you should mass planetary fortresses all around, all around your bases everywhere. Um, I don't know how you would deal with that for Colossus wise then. Maybe. Yeah, I guess you could try a push with everything at once as they're attacking them, and that would definitely work, but that's some really nice marine splitting. Yeah. I still haven't learned how to do that, but looks like the, uh... Zerg player forgot to do the magic box trick. He still has quite a few mutas. Yeah, looks like Terran is planning on pushing out with three tanks and a bunch of marines. But, no, tanks, one, two tanks go down. Yeah, those tanks are very valuable. Against Banelings and uh, Lings. 26 banelings on the way. Ooh, that's not good. Not looking good. Especially when they have uh, centrifugal, centrifugal hooks make them move faster. Yeah, there was a point there it said they like, 36 banelings. So now there's 13 more. Just as it was finishing. I think tanks should stagger step. Like that. Except you need more tanks. Well, the thing with tanks is they have the um, they have the instant fire kind of thing. I don't know how else to describe it. Where, like, where roaches and stalkers, they actually have a projectile attack. Yeah. Where tanks, it just it's just a muzzle flash and it deals damage. Because on that uh, custom game, the Starcraft Master. The last level, it's uh, you get a medevac and a tank, and you have to kill three stalkers with it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've seen that, but I think it's easier against roaches. 
it's much easier against roaches because they can't hit the meta back. <laughs> Have you beat that one yet? No. I think if it was against roaches, it'd be a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> but then it wouldn't be StarCraft 2 Master. Eh. I don't know. Well, Terran's not repairing his, uh, what do you call it, command center. Oh, Muta's come in. Goodbye. Yep. And the Terran's actually mined out everywhere, so this is not going to end well. And he the command center goes down. He has a small marine force attacking yep. the top left. The f what is that, the fourth or the fifth? He dropped both of these at the same time, so... It's a lot of stem. This looks like game. I don't think he can win. Yeah, there's too many mutas. Too many mutas. I think that's what cost him the game.